I'm Adrian Guta, and I'm a product manager on the Microsoft Edge team. We are on a mission to make Microsoft Edge the best browser for business. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to speak with you about how Kiosk Mode can help your users and customers have a secure and productive experience that will enable them to get their job done. Kiosk devices are all around us, and we might not even notice them. Yesterday, I was out doing grocery shopping, an activity that I have mixed feelings about due to the long times waiting in line. But in this situation, I chose a self-checkout experience where I interacted with a kiosk device. The experience was great, as there was no line and I was able to get the job done fast and efficient. Many of you and your users and customers use kiosk today. Whether you realize it or not, you are using kiosk mode in scenarios like personal activities, like checking out your groceries or ordering from a restaurant, or in your organization, like the reception, for self-registering, also in the retail and manufacturing, checking floor plans and running training programs. Most of us are impacted by the experience interacting with a kiosk device. And why shouldn't that experience be the best one you had? I'm here to announce some exciting advancements that we have enabled in Microsoft Edge so that your kiosk mode devices provide the best experience to you, your users, and customers. By the end of this session, you should be able to understand the value of Microsoft Edge Kiosk Mode as a secure and productive strategy for your organization. And hopefully, we will cover enough details for you to be able to configure Microsoft Edge Kiosk Mode through Intune and try it out for yourself. Within Microsoft Edge Kiosk Mode, we have two flavors of experience to provide you. On the left, we have a digital interactive signage which displays the website in full screen mode. And on the right, we have a public browsing, which is a tab browsing experience. We will go in more details in the next slide on their unique features. The first experience is a digital interactive signage. So imagine staying in line at Contoso Burgers. As a user, the main reason of interacting with the kiosk device is to order my food in a simple and efficient experience. As well, I want to make sure that the data that I fill doesn't get stored and it is deleted when I complete my order. As the owner of the restaurant, I want to enable my customers to have a secure and productive experience where I don't need to worry about the security of the kiosk device or customers accidentally pressing keyboard shortcuts that take them out of the application and diminishes the user experience. All of this is possible for the features that the experience offers. The second experience that Microsoft Edge enables is the public browsing. This experience enables all of the features for the digital interactive signage and more. This is known as a keyboard and mouse experience used in a public library or hotel concierge. The main features that are important to me as a user at the hotel concierge is to check information about the hotel, places and activities near me, and the ability to print different documents, life schedules, or tickets. This view provides a good comparison of what the two features have in common and what makes them unique? For a complete list of features, I do recommend checking out our documentation page at aka.ms slash edgekiosk. As well, some additional functionalities that we have enabled in Microsoft Edge version 89 are We support with assigned access single app on Windows 10 version 1909 and higher. As well, you can configure and deploy Edge Kiosk mode via Intune profile, which we will discuss in a second. So, how do you configure Edge Kiosk Mode via Intune? This is going to be through the Intune portal and it is similar to the Microsoft Edge Legacy Kiosk Mode configuration. It is very similar to setting the MDM policies or templates, where you choose which settings you want to apply for the device and the groups and users the settings should apply to. Then, as a user or customer, the next time I use the device, they will enjoy the Microsoft Edge Kiosk Mode experience with the pre-configured customizations that you created. Now let us jump into demos and have some fun with this. I'm going to start with an already configured public browsing experience that runs in a signed access single app. So let us take a look at our example, the Alpine Ski Hub. This is a hotel concierge example, which provides information like front desk amenities concierge. In this experience, it is important to me that I know that my browser data doesn't get stored. And I know that is true because it runs an in private session. The public browsing experience also offers access to the address bar, back and forward button, and most important, you can access multiple tabs. For example, I can open the concierge information in a different tab. When I am finished, 
I can go ahead and press the session button, which prompts the following message. This indicates that the browsing data, like history, cookies, downloads, will be deleted. I can either continue and say I'm still browsing, or I can end the session. Ending the session will restart Microsoft Edge, and the assigned access will take care that a new instance of Microsoft Edge is launched. This was the public browsing experience, which I highly encourage you checking the full set of features and seeing what this experience has to offer. Next, let me take you behind the scenes on how to configure this yourself with Intune. To do this, I'll navigate to the Intune portal. From the Intune portal, I'll go to the devices, then I'll select the platform windows. Next, I will choose the configuration profiles and select Create Profile. Edge Kiosk mode is enabled under the platform Windows 10 and later under Profile Type Templates. Here, I can either scroll and search for Kiosk or I can do a quick search. I'll go ahead and select Template Name Kiosk and select Create. This will take me to the basic configuration screen where I need to give the Kiosk a name. So I'll go ahead and name it Kiosk Ignite. I can add as well additional information in the description field. At this stage, I'll just leave this as such, and I'll just go and click Next. In order to reach the same experience that we previously had, I'll go ahead and select the kiosk mode single app full screen kiosk. The next option, user logon type. I want my devices to automatically log on, so I'll go ahead and choose the auto logon Windows 10. The next option, application type. Kiosk mode has been enabled under the Microsoft Edge browser. So I'll go ahead and select the option Add Microsoft Edge browser. Next option is the Edge Kiosk URL. Here is where you set the URL that you want the home pages in the experiences to start with. In our experience, we had the Alpine Ski House. So I'll go ahead and set this. The next option is the Kiosk mode type. Here is the place where you can choose between the two experiences, the public browsing or the digital interactive signage. Both of them run in private session. In the previous experience, we had public browsing, so we'll go ahead and choose that. The next option is the idle time mode, where I can modify it and if I want to disable it, or if I want to increase it to 10 minutes. In my example, I had it as default, so I'll leave it as such, and I'll go ahead and select next. At this stage, I add the groups and users I want these kiosk settings to apply. On this screen, I press Add Groups. And here, I will choose the groups Fabricant Kiosks. I'll go then, select, and choose Next. On this window, I can select the rules that apply to a specific criteria. I will not add any rules and select Next. In the last window, I can review all of the settings and if everything looks good, and it does, I can go ahead and select Create. This will configure the kiosk settings to the selected group or devices. So next time a user will connect to the configured device, it will run in kiosk mode single app, running the public browsing experience. Now that we have seen what features are available, let us see what is next. With the upcoming edge releases, we are targeting and enabling additional features like locking down the UI print settings. We're restricting the launch of other applications from the browser, and as well as additional features preparatory with Microsoft Edge Legacy. You can follow us by using the M365 roadmap for Edge, or our Edge Chaos documentation in order to stay up to date. In case you haven't heard, changes are coming to Microsoft Edge Legacy. In February, we released a blog with additional details about the end of support for Microsoft Edge Legacy. In order to support your transition plan, we have documentation available for you at aka.ms slash transition. There was a lot of information covered. Before we wrap up, I want to leave you these resources about Kiosk Mode. We appreciate your time and listening about why we believe Edge Kiosk Mode is the solution for your organization. Thank you.